Some people use their day off to celebrate America's birthday, while others use the day to march for abortion rights. WKRG News 5's Shimani Baker attended a rally for our rights protest that happened this morning, and she's here now to tell us about it. Yes, that's right. The rally was actually amongst seven other rallies held in the state of Alabama today under the Alabama Rally Against Injustice Group. Just 10 days after the Supreme Court's ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade, protesters continue to hit the streets in Mobile, this time on Independence Day. Roe versus Wade is here to stay. We're here to cancel Independence Day because women in America today with recent decisions of Roe versus Wade, we are not free. Alabama's new abortion law went into effect June 24th, the same day Roe v. Wade was struck down. Any society that wants to deem itself free, that values concepts of liberty, has to acknowledge um, a woman's, any person's uh, autonomy over their own body, denying uh, a woman or any person uh, that autonomy makes those women, makes all of us less free. Emotions were high as some protesters' reasoning for speaking out against the ruling comes from personal experience. I think it's important that everyone knows it's not just about abortion, but it's also about saving the lives that already exist. One of the organizers, Carla Etheridge, says all women are not free. So on the day to celebrate freedom, protesters want to put elected officials on notice. Protesters say they will continue to march and fight for their rights. Live in studio, Shimani Baker, WKRG News 5.